Hey guys, I'm Larry the Butcher. I'm starting dinner. It's 10.42 in the morning. I ran a marathon. I'm really sore and I only have 32 minutes of record space. Doing chicken stew. I'm cooking from frozen, so we're just gonna... Slow cooker? Slow cooker is your friend. Onions that I only quartered and I left the skin on because I'm a rebel. A chicken. These were on sale. I'm trying to empty my freezer out. It's not working out very well. These were on sale at work and hopefully it fits! But I gotta add more than the onion. So we're gonna throw some salt. My favorite spices. I don't have a blend right now. Some sea salt? Hey, hey, skimmy. Pepper. Onion powder, because you can never have enough onions. Garlic powder, I'm gonna throw some garlic cloves in there too. And a little Italian seasoning. I'm not adding any liquid just yet. I figure the uh, moisture that's in the chicken is gonna come out and give a really, really good liquid to it. Cap it, and we wait six hours. Funny story, guys, you're gonna love this. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna go, huh, Larry, you're a loser. Um, I already know, by the way. Um, so, it's been eight hours. Eight hours? Since I started this. Yeah. Um, this is going to be delicious, but the story is pretty cool. Um, I recently got a motorcycle uh, from a wonderful guy that I consider my brother. Um, Brandon is here. And he gives me the key to the motorcycle and he goes, do not lose this motorcycle key. It's the only one. So if I were to say, don't think about purple elephants. You're thinking about purple elephants, aren't you? So. The ride to work, the one way, takes me over a corrugated steel bridge. And I was a little nervous because when I was a kid I had issues riding a bicycle over right. and I survived it. Thumbs up. Go to work, check with some people. I uh, went to check if my helmet would fit in my locker, it doesn't. Um, and then I get ready to go home, come home. Where my, where's my key? So I spent the better part of... Um, an hour and a half, almost two hours, looking for the key. I call CAA, um, roadside assistance, get off the phone with them, call my wife, son answers the phone, and I'm like, mother, it was right there. It was in the parking lot. I found it, so it's good. Let's go look at this chicken. Daddy! What can I say? Come on, go sit down. Come here, come here, say hi. <laughs> say hi, I'm Brandon. How are you? Who's that? Who is that? Is that Thor? You know, there's a substance called thorium. Upside down. down. Upside down. Okay, can I give you a kiss Mommy, and put you down? Watch it down. Mommy, I watch it so down. we'll go look at the chicken. I was gonna do potatoes. It was gonna be more like a stew, but you know what? This shows you what? how forgiving a crock pot can be and how. You can cook with frozen meat. Um, I don't normally recommend it, but when you're forgetting, why not? How beautiful does that look, guys? And it's, you had some? It's like, it's like pulled. So pulled chicken is something that you can do. Look at that. And it's dripping with sauce and beautiful, beautiful juices. The flavor is unbelievable. It's got a lot of garlic flavor, a lot of onion flavor. My favorite spices. And see, salt. So don't think that you don't have time to cook, because you do. We have so many different pieces of cooking equipment that will allow you to not be home. I have a really big one of these. And I can do like whole roast. I do whole New York shoulders in it for my pulled pork. Well, I used to. Now I have the smokehouse. Um, 
there is no reason why you can't cook good food at home for you. It's generally cheaper, there are no preservatives, and you know everything that goes into it. And I highly recommend that you do something like this. You're going to thank yourself, and me of course. So hit that like button, comment down below when you've tried it, and let me know, let me know what spices you like. Um, I'm open to try new spices, maybe the rest of the family isn't, but I am. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button after you've realized how good of a meal this is. Friends, I of course am Larry the Butcher. I cannot thank you so much for watching this episode. And by all means, hunt me down on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, well, Vine. Um, and let's 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 start cooking in the kitchen. Start cooking for yourself. You're gonna feel better about it. I know you are. We'll see you next time. Bye.